Oh yeah, okay. it's fruit. It sounds nice to me. So that works. That's not the ideal solution. The ideal solution is we parse and are pretty sure that it actually is MP3, not based on extension name, but on content. So I wonder if we could do that. Anyway, we stopped the bleeding, so that's good. But for example, um, yeah, I'm going to make a new. OK, so for example, I'm going to rename. And this happens, so this isn't like I'm making this stuff up. But if we look at these files, I'm going to rename that. Uh, Fake wave really is MP3. And I'll call it a wave. Okay. Oh shit, did I remove it? Why did I do that? Okay, thank goodness. <laughs> that was pretty dangerous. Well, I could just unzip it again. Alright, so there we go. Now we have. Oops. A little clumsy today in the shell. I want a CP. Okay, so now we have two files. They're both the same, but one got misnamed to be a wave, and this happens a lot. So this will still crash because the importer thinks it's a wave, and there we crashed already, probably. Yeah, and again, the stack overflow will not show us uh, where we are exactly. So we need to come up with a clever solution. Um, yeah, this stops the bleeding for the majority of, of cases that will hit this bug. They will be correctly named mp3, but the other cases where they're named dot wave, that has to happen here. That happens, that happens between this line and this line. Yeah. Right, so, I mean, I don't think there's any, we can research a little bit on, on this bug for uh, Lipson file. Lipson file mp3 crash. You know, maybe, I wonder if they're on, um, IRC. Let's take a look. Uh, sound file. Well, there's two people here. Join. Uh, how about lib sound file? users. No, not the most popular channel. Yeah. Sorry, you can't see what I'm doing right now. Ah, but you know what? I think we found the developer. Let me switch over. This guy's name is Eric. And the developer for Libsoundfile's name is Eric. Let's try to ping him. Hi, are you? Yeah, that is Eric. I don't need that. Uh, Crash in lib sound file during SF open FD for certain MP3 files. Let 
the question is it is a stack of overflow that happens some sort. Any way to limit the probe in SF open Chances are he's not there since he's got his away. We can even see when he was last active. He's only been idle for an hour. Uh. Is it the couple? Anyway, that'll ping him. So, in the meantime, let's think about what we can do for writing a header to detect this stuff. Yeah. Um, so we might there's probably tons of threads on detecting mp3 header and we'll go to discussion there's also the multimedia uh, the libav guys one of them has the multimedia wiki multimedia.cx I think It's not going to help. Let's look at the MP3 specification. Yeah, and it's nice if you don't have to rely on your own crappy code for a parser. You want something that's been worked out. Because as you can see for MP3 there's several types of headers. You have to worry about things like endian and magic numbers. But if it's something as simple as three cars in the beginning say MP3, that's pretty reliable. It'll give you 16 bits. See the version the package dash i grip lib sound file, huh? Ah, dash l. Let's 
says I don't know if that's actual lib sound file version. We can check. Libsound file. on the channel to him. He says he's eating. Yeah, so this was about a year, about a year ago. So let's forward it to him. Um, apparently it happens on other platforms too, but I just verified. So we get to go to our email. Yeah, and we go here and then we say, uh, what do we say? Libsound file, this is a devel. Is it devel that I use? Hmm, not sure. Let's say libsound file and do a search. So libsound file users. I don't see a lot of devel. Yeah, this is a user's question. This is a bug report. So let's go to let's go back to our draft. FYI, crash. I looked into this bug. This is the initial. We are currently 